हेलो दोस्तों क्या हाल है आज एक मैं बहुत खास मेहमान को लेके आया हूं अपने शो में मतलब एन ऑफिसर जिसको की बात करके मैं खुद बहुत इंस्पायर हुआ ये है कमडोर विजय पाल सिंह रावत कमडोर यानी इक्वल टू अ ब्रिगेडियर इन दी आर्मी कमडोर विजय की लाइफ बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग है इनके फादर मेरे फादर की तरह ही एनडीए में इंस्ट्रक्टर होते थे और ये तीन भाई हैं तीनों भाई फौज में जो है एनडीए तीनों एक्स एनडीए हैं तीनों फौज में ऑफिसर्स बने सो so, बहुत बड़ी अचीवमेंट है उनकी फैमिली के लिए बट कमिंग टू कमोडोर विजय इन्होंने बेलगाम में कमांडर कोर्स किया इन्फेंट्री वाला इन्होंने क्लियरेंस डाइव कोर्स किया जो कि नेवी का सबसे टफ कोर्स है और इन्होंने मरीन कमांडो कोर्स किया और कामयाबी की खास बात क्या है इन्होंने दोनों कोर्स जो क्लियरेंस डाइविंग कोर्स जो डीप सी डाइविंग कोर्स जिसको बोलते हैं एंड दी मरीन कमांडो कोर्स दोनों में टॉप किया और इस कोर्स में ऑफिसर्स और जवान कट्ठे कोर्स करते हैं कोई रैंक नहीं पहनता इस कोर्स में सो वन ऑफ द टफेस्ट कोर्सेस तो बात करेंगे इन्होंने विदेश में हायर कमांड कोर्स किया इंडोनेशिया uh, में जहां अगेन उन्होंने टॉप किया वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंस्पायरिंग फाइन ऑफिसर्स दैट आई हैव कम अक्रॉस इन माई एंटायर मिलिट्री सर्विस सो इंजॉय दिस अमेजिंग टॉक एंड देखो कि आपकी जिंदगी में आप कमोडोर uh, विजय पाल सिंह रावत से क्या कुछ सीख सकते हैं अगर वो ये कर सकते हैं तो आप भी कर सकते हैं सो दिस टॉक इज ब्रॉड ओनली फॉर यू ऑल थैंक यू इंजॉय दिस थैंक यू Hello, Hello sir. Good evening. How are you, sir? Oh, very good to see you. Good to see you too, sir. So, I was also telling the kids that today is National Youth Day, and I couldn't have got a better, better person to talk to them than you. <laughs> That's my pleasure, sir. So, I am not Vijay Vijay Pal. Vijay, say it. Vijay Pal Singh, say it. Or what do you like to be addressed? I think sir Vijay will be much better faster shorter yeah 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 Vijay <laughs> yes. also sir yes yes, sir. yes bilkul to Vijay main dikha raha tha mere paas na puri collection hai Swami Vivekanand ki yes it i have that it is in nine volumes and okay. uh, he was a great monk he is a great monk aur unki philosophy na aaj bahut zarurat hai aaj unki philosophy ki desh ko bahut zarurat hai you know he he uh, usne western philosophy ke us time ke sab ko pad liya tha वो संस्कृत का भी विद्वान था इंग्लिश का भी विद्वान था बंगाली का भी विद्वान था एंड ही डिस्कवर्ड इंडिया एंड डिस्कवर्ड द वर्ल्ड एंड डाइड एट 39 इयर्स ऑफ एज एंड इतना कुछ दे गया हमारे को कि बस पूछो मत सो एनीवे विजय वेलकम टू माय शो इट्स सच अ प्लेजर टू हैव यू हियर थैंक यू वेरी मच सर यू आर डूइंग ह्यूमन सर्विस आफ्टर रिटायरमेंट इन द सेकंड इनिंग्स एंड आई and i'm sure that uh, today's interaction is going to be of value value addition to the people whom you have been training for the last uh, couple of uh, years now sir after you uh, super honored from the army yeah i am enjoying this journey aur mujhe maza aa raha hai main aap jaise passionate logon ko leke aata hu jisse ki log dekhe ki aise log hain fauj mein jinhone bahut bahut kaam kiya hai aur unme bhi bhi bahut dam hai bahut strong hai तुमको देख के तो लग रहा है यू आर सो यंग हु कैन कॉल यू रिटायर्ड सर एक्चुअली दैट इज दैट इज द स्टेट विद ऑल पीपल हु आर रिटायर्ड फ्रॉम द फौज एंड यू कैन ब्लेम इट ऑन माय जीन्स सर यू हैव वेरी गुड जीन्स ये मैं मेरा मेरा यही था आपने कह दिया बट मैं देख रहा था आपके फादर पीटी इंस्ट्रक्टर थे ग्रैंड फादर मेटरनल साइड से आपके ड्रिल इंस्ट्रक्टर थे आपके सबके सब गढ़वाल राइफल से आपकी पूरी पुश्ते हैं गढ़वाल राइफल में नौकरी करी है आप तीन भाई और तीनों एक्स एनडी हैं फ्रेंड्स yes, विजय कमडोर विजय ये तीन भाई हैं और तीनों के तीनों एक्स एनडी हैं यू हैव ग्रेट हीस नो डाउट थैंक यू वेरी मच सर तो विजय बात करेंगे थोड़ा अपने चाइल्डहुड का बताओ अपने अपने फादर के बारे में और यू नो एंड आपने कहा स्कूलिंग करी आपके भाइयों के बारे में थोड़ा सा जस्ट टेलस अवॉर्ड योर चाइल्ड So my father was in the navy, and uh, uh, what all I remember from the time I was born, I only saw white uniform. 
and uh, because he was in the navy and uh, since we are from the fauji background so there was a lot of discipline in our house and uh, my father laid a lot of stress on a couple of things uh, since uh, you know he was a sailor in the navy his first desire was that all his children should uh, pass out from the hallowed portal of nda because uh, coincidentally he happened to be posted uh, four times to nda incidentally my uh, maternal grandfather was one of the first uh, batches of drill uh, uh, instructors who were posted to nda when the nda uh, shifted from clement town to uh, national physics academy khadakwasla my father got posted uh, posted four times bachpan ki jo mujhe yaadein hain wo ye hain ki uh, in especially i can remember uh, 68 to 70 nda mein and uh, mere ghar ke samne uh, there was a host uh, you know the equestrian uh, lines were there right in front of my house and my father always used to uh, mention Uh, my mother especially that you know one day uh, my children will also uh, do horse riding here and my father had a desire that you know all three of us uh, should also you know graduate from this academy and which uh, he was able to achieve uh, normal bachpan tha just that uh, uh, there was a uh, you know my father had uh, uh, created uh, some kind of uh, 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 some kind of uh, uh, kind of uh, situation where we all ha- had uh, fire in our bellies and we had to do well and uh, so in school we were good uh, we were good in sports uh, we were good in uh, my father used to insist that we should also take part in all the cultural activities so like we poetry writing we poetry recitation general knowledge competitions and you know extempore speech and you know all this kind of thing in dramatics even dramatics and uh, so that is how the life was and uh, of course there was a lot of competition because my father believed that uh, some way or the other there will be some kind of complex which children have because you know you are also Uh, you know, in the same school, you are studying with uh, the officer children and people from uh, very good families. Of course, uh, uh, I did uh, bulk of my uh, education in Kendra Vidyalaya Cochin, and there, uh, the way that teachers have created a uh, environment where there was no unch niche, everybody was treated equally. So we did not have this kind of uh, feeling. But obviously, when you are a teenager, you do feel, uh-huh. you know, when someone says, "Ki today I had a navy ball, I was in the institute, and I did this, I did that," which you know, sailors are denied no. all those things. so uh-huh. there is a there is always a feeling of competition and my father wanted us to do well because uh, if we do well in this competition then we will uh, sort of balance out uh, the sort of complex which uh, my father thought we would have and he was right because there is always a tendency to have a little bit of complex when you have people who are there is a some amount of asymmetry in the social status nahi nahi aap aapko na i'll just i'll vijay mai aapko rokunga yaar ye tumne jab baat ki na ki tumhara ghar tha equestrian club ke samne 68 में स्कूलिंग स्टार्ट की जो एनडीए का जो गोल मार्केट उसके बाद एक छोटा सा एनडीए का स्कूल है तो यही फीलिंग वही मुझे लग रहा है कि हम उस स्कूल में भी गए हैं और कहीं ना कहीं अब मेरे फादर तो जो है ऊपर जा चुके हैं दो साल हो गए उनको बट मे बी आई एम श्योर दे हैव सर्व टुगेदर फॉर सम टाइम एज यू नो एज हवलदार और सार्जेंट या इक्वलेंट कह लो इन और मुझे घर अभी भी याद है Yes, my father. That time I remember we were staying, we were staying in JCO's quarters and uh, the house number was fifty two oblique two. And oh. uh, the school you are referring to is uh, not exactly in Gold Market, but Gold Market is open. But there is a small bus stop there. It was yes, a kids' yes, school yes. where I also did the initial schooling. And later uh-huh. on, I went to Kendra Vidyalaya like Khadakwasla for two years. That was from seventy-five to seventy-seven. So, okay. sir, we happen to be, uh, 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 I would say, schoolmates. <laughs> so, so, वही मुझे लग रहा है कहीं ना कहीं हमारी जिंदगी के ना तार जुड़े हुए हैं कि हमारे हमारे parents, हमारे grandfathers, सब के सब सिपाही भरती हुए बड़ी मेहनत से लेकिन सपना बड़ा देखा यही मैं अपने ऑडियंस को बच्चों को बोलता रहता हूँ सपने देखो और उसके लिए काम करो तो आपके फादर ने तो तीनों बच्चे जो है तीनों आप एनडीए पहुंचे मेरे को मिलिट्री स्कूल में भेजा मेरे को मिलिट्री स्कूल में भेजा और मैं थोड़ा मैथ्स में कमजोर था तो मैं फिर सी के थ्रू आया फौज में बट मैं एनडीए में टॉक देने गया मोटिवेशन लेक्चर फिर आई से पेरेंट्स भी आए मेरे फादर आई में भी दो बार रहे इंस्ट्रक्टर So, दो टेन्यूर उन्होंने एम एम ए की एक एनडीए में तो हमारी कहीं ना कहीं जो है जिंदगी काफी मिलती जुलती है <laughs> एक और बात है सर माई एल्डर ब्रदर वॉज स्टडीड इन मिल्टी स्कूल बिलगाम सर 
and oh. my younger brother was my younger brother was in kv coaching uh, with me for some time there after he uh, and he joined uh, you know uh, sainik school godakal i also tried for both the schools and i failed so <laughs> otherwise and so the good part is since you mentioned my father had this uh, had this vision and probably we passed out from the hallowed portals of nda but all three of us did extremely well in our upsc exam in fact also in the service selection board my elder brother had scored about 510 marks and i scored 555 my younger brother scored 525 marks so generally they are very high marks which i got to know my elder brother he was from sixth kumau he commanded sixth kumau and now of course he living a retired life in uh, in uh, in dehradun when he was uh, uh, io uh, in uh, uh, io in uh, alabad i think 11 ssb that is the time when he told me that this marks for five of you are excellent marks normally people don't get this kind of marks ha to so main ye bata do apne audience ko ye ssb ke marks ki ho rahi hai and uh, uh, commodore vijay rawat was sitting in front of me scored 555 in ssb and aapki all india rank kya thi us time india mein i stood 21st sir to so, uh, air rank 21 and my <laughs> elder brother was 25th and my elder brother was i think 29 to 30 years. so not only we joined the nda but we we passed with good marks in the upsc sir <laughs> great great no that show isliye na aapko jeans bhi acche mile aur grooming bhi achhi mili aur usse wo main kehta rahta hu jab tak pet mein aag nahi hai aur dil mein koi jaan nahi hai na fire in the belly and passion in the heart ye cheez fauj mein officer banne ke liye hai na yeah that's true sir that's true sir to not only uh, yeah, koi kamaal ki baat hai uh, ki matlab aap uh, itna passion tha teeno bhai तीनों All three of us could not claim the first chance. We got into the yeah. second chance. <laughs> But SSB first chance, yeah, second chance. SSB first chance, and uh, as I told you, so my elder brother he got five hundred and ten marks, and uh, my younger brother also scored around five ten, five fifteen in between. So, and these are very high marks, as you are aware, sir. So, yeah, yeah. and not only we did some training. My elder brother and younger brother they had the uh, they had the uh, advantage of being from uh, a military environment school. but i i studied in a kindra vidyalaya which is a co education which is a good part and mm. uh, but since i was under the tutelage of my father continuously kya ki ye bade bhai to lot sa ban ke chale aate the school and aate the to ghar mein unki treatment lot sa type hoti thi jaisa aapki bhi hogi sir you are from bangalore middle school and my younger brother was the youngest and so he was a lot of everyone plus he used to go to senior school ghodakhal and come back and he was like a hero in the house bachta tha sirf main तो सारे एक्सपेरिमेंट मेरे फादर मेरे ऊपर क्या करते थे तो यू आर द ओनली वन जो अंडर कमांड रहा फौज में कहते हैं अंडर कमांड तो यस सर माय 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 फादर ऑलवेज इंश्योर्ड दैट द शिप इज ऑलवेज ऑन कमांड नॉट अंडर इट इट कैन नॉट हैपन दैट शिप इज गोइंग आउट ऑफ कमांड सो ऑल हिज ऑल दी एक्सपेरिमेंट्स यू नो बेसिकली the uh, the good पार्ट्स व्हिच यूज्ड टू हिज बाय माय फादर वाज वेरी माय फादर वाज सेल्फ मेड मैन at the age of 14 at the age of 11 he lost my uh, my grandfather was, was no longer alive so my uh, my grandfather uh, sorry my father then uh, did all uh, sorry study by himself he came to dehradun and studied for 2 years in dehradun with his elder brother and thereafter he decided to join the army 19 uh, the navy in 1946 and why he joined the navy because he stood in the adornment queue and they asked him oh, your name is rawat so they took it as robert and they said okay. we will send you to the navy and then oh, the second, next he was in, next he was in karachi with 25 paisa in his pocket oh my god so then he was in karachi uh, hms uh, bahadur which is now in karachi and there mm-hmm. he did a six month boys training and he came on leave aur chutti ke baad batwara ho gaya tha he mm-hmm. came back to uh, went back on chutti he was a very oji chap you know ek to paadi waisi oji hote hain then he reported to amritsar an amritsar railway station mein uh, he was trying to catch a train to go to karachi and then uh, one railway uh, station master told him you know he was a lot tall and huge sick and he told my father that uh, where are you going putra tumhe pata nahi kya ho gaya hai my father said no ek to pahad mein there was no communication yeah. systems he was not aware of anything yeah. but then he said he this is what has happened and you know now so there was a, a camp a camp which was uh, just station outside the uh, amritsar uh, railway station and yeah. there my father stayed and thereafter he was uh, they all uh, the entire batch in mass was transferred to vishakhapatnam 
and uh, INS Sarkars, which is there, and there they under, again underwent training for three years. So my father was a self-made man. He took all his decision himself, and uh, because he was self-made man, he used to read a lot, and uh, so and he used to keep on observing people, you know, so, uh, juniors, seniors, and uh, then he used to implement or the entire thing in the house. So I would say one one way that although I did not go to senior school and middle school. But I was the direct beneficiary of all the uh, good observation which my father had, and he gave it to me. No, no, I will tell you one thing. You have not missed anything because Vijay, when I saw your record of service, I have got so many service from so many people. I have done military school, I have done commando course, I have done infantry officer, I have done UN in the UN, all over. But I will come to that later. But the audience will tell you that you have done a commando course from Indonesia. इंडिया में कमांडो कोर्स किया नो इंडोनेशिया में अच्छा हायर कमांड कोर्स किया इंडोनेशिया में इन्फेंट्री स्कूल का कमांडो कोर्स किया बेलगाम सर आई फाउंड इट नॉट वेरी टफ इट वॉज मोर ऑफ ए बागरी माई एल्डर ब्रदर वॉज इंस्ट्रक्टर देर अच्छा ओके बिकॉज वॉज इंस्ट्रक्टर सो आई हैड दी एडवांटेज ऑफ जम्पिंग लोडो टैंक मोर देन मंथ I had the advantage of doing snake handling and all those difficult things. You know, he used to just keep on uh, telling his other because not only him. In between, he went for his uh, JC course, but uh, the other people instructors they knew they they took uh, special uh, care of me in the other sense. Ah, no, no, no. But uh, uh, one second, one second. Yes, sir. But uh, when I went for this course, I had done my clearance driving course in Kochi, and which is uh, eight months uh, very rigorous physically and mentally. Yeah, driving course. के बारे में तो हिंदी में बताना जरा ये डाइविंग कोर्स में क्या होता है मैं सब बहुत रिग्रेस है डीप मतलब कितने मीटर डाइव करना पड़ता है क्या क्या होता है इसमें सर डाइविंग कोर्स इज लार्जली यू नो आई आई डिड माय क्लेरेंस डाइविंग कोर्स सो देर आर टू थ्री टाइप ऑफ डाइविंग इन द नेवी वन इज द शिप डाइविंग कोर्स दीज पीपल गो ओनली अंडर बॉटम ऑफ द शिप एंड दे डू द शिप प्रिपेयर्स एंड ऑल हां नीचे क्लेयर टू डाइव टू अ डेप्थ ऑफ 35 मीटर दैट ओनली एयर डाइविंग सेट Whereas mm-hmm. uh, the clearance divers are uh, going to 55 meters depth, that is around 180 feet, and then we also uh, do combat diving underwater. That means you take the lipid mines and swim across the channels and into the enemy harbor and to destroy the ships. And uh, they do other uh, like uh, explosive ordnance disposal underwater. No, no, no. This is in Hindi. Tell me that when you are talking about clearance, when you are talking about 150 feet of diving. तो इसमें क्या होता है जब इतना पानी में नीचे चले जाते हो तो किस टाइप का प्रेशर होता है क्यों इतना रिस्की होता है ये डाइविंग और कितना सर करना पड़ता है रिस्की सर इसलिए होता है कि व्हेन यू आर जब आप डाइव करते हो अंडर वाटर तो जो हमारा जब इफ यू डाइव टिल 55 मीटर यू कैन डाइव इन एयर एयर डाइविंग एंड वो सरफेस सप्लाई होती है और क्या होता है कि देयर इज वन टू व्हिच इज ऑन टॉप ऑफ द सरफेस एंड वहां पे देयर आर सम ऑक्सीजन सिलेंडर्स एयर सिलेंडर्स एंड फ्रॉम देयर द एयर इज पंप्ड टू यू यू आल्सो हैव अ स्टैंड बाय सिलेंडर विद यू जस्ट इन केस ऑफ एनी इमरजेंसी अच्छा अच्छा बिकॉज यू आर डाइविंग बिलो तो देयर इज अ रेगुलेटर व्हिच रेगुलेट्स द हाई प्रेशर इनटू द प्रेशर व्हिच यू कैन टेक एक्चुअली बिकॉज यू कैन नॉट टेक एनी हाई प्रेशर यू कैन नॉट ब्रीथ सो इट सॉर्ट ऑफ कंपेंसेट फॉर द प्रेशर अराउंड सो वन डजंट फील दैट ही इज कंप्रेस्ड बिकॉज ऑल अराउंड द प्रेशर इज देयर तो वन डजंट फील but the problem is that when you are actually staying in jaise ki aap 55 meters dive kar rahe ho 55 meters jaise aap niche aate ho to kya hota hai ki there is something called as partial pressure aur hawa jo hai usme 80% oxygen hoti hai aur 21% baki gas hoti hai jaise nitrogen hai carbon dioxide hai carbon monoxide hai so ye jo nitrogen jo hota hai iska partial pressure badh jata hai aur hota kya hai ki jab when you go to 55 meters to ye nitrogen aapke body mein blood mein dissolve karna shuru kar jata hai तो क्या होता है कि अगर आप सडनली ऊपर आएंगे तो क्या होता है कि तो आपके लंग फटने के चांसेस हैं प्लस आप ये जो नाइट्रोजन बॉडी में डिजोल्व हुई है ये छोटे बबल बन जाते हैं उसको बोलते हैं बेंड्स तो ये बबल को धीरे से निकालना पड़ता है तो उसके लिए आपको क्या होता है अगर आप फिफ्टी फाइव मीटर ड्राइव करोगे तो यू हैव टू कम टू अबाउट एटीन मीटर्स एंड देन यू हैव टू स्टे दे फॉर अबाउट टेन मिनट्स ट्वेल्व मिनट्स एंड देन यू कम टू अराउंड नाइन मीटर्स स्टे फॉर अबाउट ट्वेंटी मिनट्स देन यू कम टू अराउंड सिक्स मीटर्स स्टे फॉर अबाउट फिफ्टीन मिनट्स देन यू कम टू सर्फेस यानी कि व्हेन यू ड्राइव टू 55 मीटर्स व्हेन यू ड्राइव टू 55 मीटर्स देन यू आर द टाइम टू जब ऊपर से सर्विस से नीचे जाने में यू माइट जस्ट टेक अबाउट 5 मिनट्स एंड 5 मिनट्स यू स्टे इन एट 55 मीटर्स टू डू सम वर्क बट टू कम अप इट माइट टेक 1 आवर ओ बाय गॉड अच्छा इफेक्टिव वर्क इफेक्टिव वर्क इज ओनली 5 मिनट्स बट यू हैव ड्राइव फॉर 1 आवर दैट इज बिकॉज़ ऑफ तो काम क्या है माइन लगाना या इस टाइप की ट्रेनिंग होती है या कोई मतलब 55 मीटर 
लाइक वॉट हैपन्स दैट फिफ्टी फाइव मीटर्स भी डाई बिकॉज इफ देर इज एम सैलवेज वर्क कोई शिप में कोई सैलवेज काम करना है कहीं कोई सैलवेज शिप रह के उसमें कुछ निकालना है बिकॉज नॉर्मली वॉट हैपन्स इफ यू हैव सी माइंड तो सी माइंड को डिटेक्ट करना पहले सोनार से शिप के सोनार से करते हैं डिटेक्शन के बाद हम जैसे डाइवर्स को भेजते हैं वी हैव सम इक्विपमेंट वी गो वेरी क्लोज टू द माइंड और वो बारूद होती है तीन सौ थ्री हंड्रेड टन थ्री हंड्रेड एंटी मैग्नेटिक एंटी मेटालिक इट कुड बी एंटी एंटी नॉइज ऑल्सो सो दो वेरी केयरफुल तो हमें जो हमने प्रैक्टिस किया अनफॉर्चुनेटली फॉर अस वी नेवर डिड अ लाइव थिंग बिकॉज इट ऑल प्रैक्टिस लाइव्स यू नो इंडिया इज नॉट एट वॉर विद अदर कंट्री सो इसकी तो बात आती नहीं है बात देन दैट इज वन पार्ट सेकंड पार्ट इज वी हैव टू गो अंडर व्हाट अ लॉन्ग डिस्टेंस लाइक वी टू स्विम इफ आई जस्ट टेल यू वन डे वन डे इन डाइविंग स्कूल कोचिंग वी गेट अप एट 5:00 देन वी गो टू डाइविंग स्कूल चार्ज आवर डाइविंग सेट्स इट टेक्स अबाउट 1 1 1/2 आवर कम बैक टू द रूम हैव योर ब्रेकफास्ट 6:30 गो रिपोर्ट फॉर पीटी it is a proper 2 hours of commando pt sir 2 oh. hours of commando pt means it is back breaking even uh, commando ko us belgaon mein wo jo wo chhota paplu bada paplu karate hain wo kuch nahi hai means it Achha. is ha it is just about average aur ek baat ek, ek cheez aur batana ek cheez aur vijay isme ek officer so, aur jawan ikatthe karte hain course kabhi nahi suna this is a, so actually although the course is different like uh, marine Haan. commando course is together the only course Achha. in india which is together डाइविंग कोर्स में क्या होता है कि ऑफ कोर्स द कोर्सेज आर डिफरेंट बट एवरीवन डज एवरीथिंग टुगेदर तो देयर इज अ फीलिंग ऑफ कंपटीशन बिकॉज़ क्या है कि वंस यू डू द कोर्स अब इस ऑफिसर्स कोर्स एक ही बार करते हैं बट सेलर्स डू कोर्स थ्री टाइम्स सो अगर आपको इज्जत चाहिए इफ यू वांट टू हैव रिस्पेक्ट इन फ्रंट ऑफ योर बॉयज देन यू हैव टू परफॉर्म वेरी वेल इन द कोर्स सो नॉर्मली क्या होता है कि लाइक देयर आर 100 पीपल डूइंग द कोर्स इन डाइविंग स्कूल एंड यू विल फाइंड अबाउट 25 30 पीपल ओनली मेकिंग इट now Achha. officers group will be small three four officers we got of 10 officers only three four qualify ye three four jo officers hain they should be ahead in swimming i won't say first but ahead in swimming ahead in running ahead in mud walking ahead in diving so that is the kind of so uh, what happens in, and the, and generally the age of the sailors who come is around 90 to 21 the officer ah, by time you get commission is 23 24 so there is a age of three four years uh, gap and then you do it together like in in my in my course i had one uh, a guy called suresh babu he he was a captain in the army and navy so he was a marathon runner nda mein he was medalist blazer in cross country so he used to come first in long distance so wo kaam uska ho gaya i was a sprinter and so all sprint one mile and all i used to come he used to come first i used to come second baaki se log hum piche chhod dete the then we had another guy called vd verma he was very good in swimming so he used to beat everyone in swimming so aise karke hum log ne manage kiya tha <laughs> but the long and short is that uh, we have to do better than the sailors if you want to get respected throughout your life and that is so bad breaking ye baat na nahi vijay main is baat pe thoda emphasize karunga ye bahut bachche na officer banna chahte hain para mein jana chahte hain lekin jab physically tough nahi ho na physically or mentally फिर आप yes, ना तो बन सकते हो और ना ही आप अपने आप को प्रूव कर सकते हो और फिर यूनिट में ना आपको इज्जत भी नहीं मिलती वो चेहरे से नजर आता है जवानों के जो फेल होने वाले अफसर होते हैं या जो अगर टफनेस नहीं है तो फिर कोई फायदा नहीं है नौकरी करने का खास तौर पे मरीन कमांडो बनना है या डाइवर बनना है या इन्फेंट्री में yes. अफसर बनना है सो कमिंग बैक टू दाइविंग ब्रिज ब्रिज वॉज ट्वेल्व मीटर्स हाई it was a channel and us upar bridge tha it was a road bridge and 12 meters high then we used to jump into the channel and the current on the channel was about 2 knots 1 and 1/2 to 2 knots ebbing Achha. or flooding there but the 12 meters uh, jump karte the yes sir, into the water and of course there are uh-huh. boats there you wear your fins and jump into the water and then you start swimming you swim about 2 miles 2 nautical miles means around 3 and 1/2 kilometers and you just reach the dive spot then you remove your fins wear your gumboots is called mud walking boots and put 2 to 2 kg of lead weights in each boot and mm. tied up properly then they used to throw you in the mud mm. it's a big big thick you know like something like quicksand so till mm. knee you are deep in mud and mm. then you do the mud crawl and to cover a distance of uh, let's say 50 meters it used to take about 45 minutes you finish that then have a cup of tea then you start diving so dive you start at around 9:30 10 go on till 132 criss crossing the channel underwater you have a yeah, buddy with you yeah. मतलब so, मैं मैं हम तो कमांडो कोर्स का ही बहुत सोच रहे थे ये तो ये तो कई दिस इज टेन टाइम्स कमांडो कोर्स नॉट टेन टाइम्स बट यस डेफिनेटली दो घंटे की पीटी दो घंटे पीटी के लिए रेगुलर पीटी 
फिर पीटी खत्म हुई बारह मीटर से आपने जंप किया इसमें वाटर चैनल में जहां डेट टू नॉट का करंट है साढ़े तीन किलोमीटर स्विमिंग करी वहां फिंस निकाल रही फिर आपने मड वॉकिंग करी डेड वेट अपने जूते में डाल के और 45 मिनट लगा वो डिस्टेंस पार करने में और yes, फिर एक कप चाय मिला यस yes, सर और उसके बाद वी स्टार्ट डूइंग डाइविंग एक्चुअल डाइविंग डाइविंग सो डाइविंग क्या होता है सर देयर यू एन यू आर मेन डाइवर योर बॉडी इज देयर यू टाइड विद विद अ बॉडी लाइन व्हिच इज अबाउट 2 और 2 मीटर्स एंड यू हैव अ कंपास विद यू दे गिव यू अ टारगेट यू टेक द टारगेट गो डाउन अंडर वाटर दे बोथ स्टार्ट स्विमिंग टुवर्ड्स द टारगेट लाइक दैट यू डू 3 4 टारगेट्स यू टेल द टारगेट्स नाउ इट इज सो मंडेन सो बोरिंग बिकॉज़ कोचिंग चैनल में यू डोंट सी अ हैंड आल्सो You barely able to see the compass, and the medium, which is barely. So you have to keep on coming, and if you come very frequently, then the instructor will throw you over the head, in the chest. Okay. Then you should do that, and then that finish at one thirty. Then quickly go and uh, you know go to the mess because if you have to go to officers' mess to having food, you have to be uh, well dressed up. So go and take bath and quickly change into uniform and go to the mess. Come back two thirty. You come back and two forty five again back to the diving school. and then hmm. you have to maintain the sets and all and uske baad some punishments and all ragging and all uh, instructors to rag you punishments and all it goes on till about 8 o'clock in the evening sometimes or twice in a week used to have night diving also so night diving again the same routine of you know jumping from the bridge and diving for 2 3 hours and all those things used to have yeah. so it was uh, overall uh, and uh, quite a quite a uh, you know challenging routine and it went on for 8 months and non stop so it is but the course hai 8 months 8 months And, oh my uh, god this is unbelievable yes, so it's it's back breaking like uh, we used to do when you come to uh, when you come to ppt a ppt the ppt the army standards are you know you run 1 mile in uh, you know 5 uh, 5 minutes and 40 seconds hamara was 5 km pehle 2 mile tha jo hum log commission mein bhi 5 km hai under oh, 25 that is, minutes that is, that is bpt that is bpt ah. but ppt test jo hota hai wo that ha uh, ah, bola very mile. simple ha ah. ha ah. ha ah, but then 1 mile was uh, 5 minutes 40 uh, for excellent then uh, 6 and 6 20 In diving school, it is five minutes ten, five minutes twenty, five minutes thirty. That means if oh. you don't do in five minutes thirty, you are out of the course. Correct. And uh, similarly, push-ups. Like push-up, may if you just have to do thirty-five. In diving school coaching, the push-up was one twenty push-ups in one minute. If you don't do it, you fail. One so twenty. Dwara, bolo Hindi me jo ye ye sab pata lag jaye ki sir Navy me jana hai, mark post banana hai. One so twenty push-up. One minute me agar ap nahi karoge, to ap fail ho jaoge. One so twenty push-up planks. Yes, planks like this. One hundred twenty push-ups. In the now, uh, now at this age, I'm fifty. I'm running fifty-eight, so but I can do fifty push-ups in one minute now. At this age. Great. But uh, and sit-ups, how uh, many? Sit-ups, sit-ups uh, sit -up used to be something like one hundred twenty, hundred plus sit-ups, and then mm -hmm. used to have mm -hmm. uh, that uh, body carry and all. So incidentally, uh, nobody has ever, nobody has ever beaten me in body carry in my entire career in the Navy, sir. So. <laughs> बड़ी कैरी जो कैरी है समझ और और मैं मैं एक चीज बता दूं मेरे को मैं फर्स्ट गार्ड में कमीशन हुआ हूं मेरे को मेरी पूरी सर्विस में किसी ऑफिसर ने 2 माइल में नहीं हराया 5 किलोमीटर में और पहले 2 माइल में नेवर एवर सीओ बनने तक आई ऑलवेज केम आई ऑलवेज केम इन सेटिस्फैक्टरी 2 माइल आई वुड नेवर रन विद अ वेपन इन माय हैंड माय एल्डर ब्रदर इंसिडेंटली इज माय एल्डर ब्रदर माय माय एल्डर ब्रदर शुड बी एक्सेलेंट इन एवरीथिंग एंड ही वाज अ कमांडो इंस्ट्रक्टर and his his he also got a high grading his son also got an high grading so i think i, I guess it goes in the family sir. so yeah, diving was very interesting it was and another thing sir since we had to do, dive under water every day for 3 4 hours ab it is so mundane it is so boring so we used to uh, play antakshri under water why antakshri pani ke niche pani ke andar sir because you are wearing you are wearing a swim mask and you are also having that mouth piece in your mouth so you could do mm, like that And Achha. we would, you know, like that. Two people always, you know, singing songs underwater, and you know, oh. Hindi songs are so beautiful. Uh, oh. Just with the tune, you can actually make out what he is saying. So like that, we used to <laughs> sing. And otherwise, it is so, it's so mundane, so difficult. You really cannot, uh, you know, do this uh, thing. And uh, so that's how. And 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 and uh, even today when we meet so our in the in the in the indian navy there are two specializations where the officers and the sailors are extremely close to each other whether it is good or not good i don't know i i i'm not i don't bring judgmental but ek uh, to marine commandos and secondly submarine specialization yes in submarine arm when you are in pandubi ke andar hote ho to commanding officer also doesn't put his stripes yeah no stripes no names and you are wearing that disposable shorts and shirts 
you don't take bath for 3 days you don't shave because you get only one mug of water per day and then uh, after 3 days you dispose of your uh, uniform and wear another set of uniform like that you manage for 40 days when you go for a war patrol so life is very difficult there and people are exceptionally professional in the submarine specialization i can tell you this because as a marine commando i used to be launched from a submarine for a special mission and in the middle of the ocean so and i used to dread sailing for more than 2 3 days because ek to kya ki an enclosed environment hai secondly you have nothing to do for 3 days so i mean people like us who are in the special forces they want to keep on doing something or the other yahan pe kuch karna nahi thande raho bilkul and teen din ke baad they should say okay now you uh, launch so we should be very happy to launch but life is very difficult in submarine specialization actually very difficult yeah, i understand i have been a couple of times been inside and but the enclosed spaces but yeah apna uh, aap marine commando kab bane aapne marcos kab join kiya aur uski journey thoda sa batao Uh, yes sir after after doing the diving course clans diving course then i did one uh, belgaon commando course belgaon commando course was interesting i would say not that it is easy course it's a interesting course but there's no sense of competition there because everybody qualifies uh, yes there are people who are do who do extremely hard who work very hard in fact sir i'll tell you aapne ek question pucha tha ki you know to become an officer in the armed forces you need to have that kind of self confidence in the very first day i remember sir in 1990 it was the month of march and there was the ceo uh, the the commandant of uh, infantry school uh, one uh, sadar ji from two dogras i think two two dogras sir and he said ki and he was a, a commando dagger and he was a, a ranger dagger also so Achha. he said ki look I, yes I, look i've been here for almost two and a half years and i am retiring uh, uh, after this course and i'm yet to see somebody who can get a commando dagger so is there anybody who can get a commando dagger to mere sath ek uh, engineer's officer baitha tha one year junior to me he stood up his name was sharma and he said sir i will get a dagger now first day first meeting mein if somebody says ki i'll get the dagger to uska to log jo punana chhod kar diya uska ha uh-huh, exactly but can, ima- but can you imagine on the last day he was running high fever and uh, my brother told me that you know this guy has to come first uh, in the 40 crore speed march miss first means he has to come in first four five yeah you must come in the dagger. first enclosure ha huh? yes sir only then he can get a dagger and he was running high fever and i told him look ya bhai uh, you will have to do the bola main kar do mar mar bhi jaunga like karunga and he did it and can you imagine he got a dagger imagine the kind of self confidence the guy can have day one mein I... and he is from engineers and he is the i was the oldest guy in the course he was the second oldest baki sab youngsters hain titi saal junior unke beech mein and he was not even he is not even blazer in cross country or is not even you know medalist in uh, mm-hmm. any event in nda hum to kya medalist the lekin और बाकी जो यंगस्टर्स है कोई ब्लेजर इन क्रॉस कैंडी कोई मेडलिस्ट इन दिस मेडलिस्ट इन दैट सबको बीट करके ही शूट फर्स्ट तो ऐसे भी इंसान है बहुत में नहीं नहीं और 40 किलोमीटर कमांडो कोर्स का मैं बता दूं कि 18 किलो वजन है आपके पास आपकी राइफल है और उससे पहले आपका एस्केप एंड एवेशन होता है जिसमें yes. अच्छी बत्ती बंद होती है जंगलों में खाट और पकड़े गए तो मारे गए है ना और उसके बाद एक मील मिलती है एंड देन यू आर रेडी फॉर दिस एंड मैंने देखा ये ये रियल टफनेस का टेस्ट है 40 किलोमीटर 18 किलो वजन और राइफल लेके और बूट वाले पहन के और हमारे बूट भी कैसे थे इल फिटिंग क्लोथ्स एंड दैट इज अ फैग एंड कोर्स का ना तो uh, मुझे अभी तक याद है कई बट करना चाहते हैं लोग मैंने देखा लोग स्ट्रेस फ्रैक्चर के साथ भी कर लेते हैं हार नहीं माननी है ना यस इनफैक्ट बिफोर कमांडो कोर्स बेलगांव वी डिड ए सिमिलर कोर्स फॉर 30 डेज इन बॉम्बे वी डिड इन अ मरीन कमांडो यूनिट वी डिड 30 इयर्स कोर्स एंड ओनली टू ऑफिसर्स वर डूइंग एंड देयर आर फोर ऑफिसर्स आर इंस्ट्रक्टर्स एंड ऑल फोर ऑफिसर्स वेयर ब्लेजर्स और ब्लू इन क्रॉस कंट्री एंड स्विमिंग इन एनडीए और उन्होंने हमारी जान निकाल ली हम दो थे एंड दे मेड अस डू 20 किलोमीटर स्पीड मार्च विदाउट एनी प्रिपरेशन विद ड्रिल बूट्स शॉर्ट्स टी-शर्ट and a uh, this uh, fsm pack a pack Haan. without putting the resin without putting resin behind hmm. and usme wo they put eat dal di unhone 20 kilo ki aur 5 kilo rifle pakda di and 2:30 in the afternoon in the burning uh, no in february they made us uh, uh, run 20 km speed march and there was a guy pacing and he ran continuously with us for 20 km there is no stopping there is no walking nothing aur hum jab wapas aaye तो ऑफ कोर्स वी फिनिश इन टू आवर्स एंड थर्टी मिनट्स बोथ ऑफ अस हमने बोला तो जान निकल गई ये तो ट्वेंटी किलोमीटर है अब तो थर्टी और फोर्टी भी करना है उधर बैंगलोर उधर दलगांव जाके एंड मोर ऑफ पूरा वेन यू रिमूव अ बैक पूरा उसमें ना पूरी पीट छिली हुई थी इट वॉज ब्लीडिंग एंड देन विद इन सेवन डेज वी टू रिपोर्ट टू बेलगांव 
when we went to belgaum we realized that uh, although the training is difficult sir but the good part of training is it is so well organized it is perhaps the most organized course i have seen i have done high command course abroad in in, uh, in indonesia i have done staff college in uh, wellington and all the things like you also done sir but the the way the organization runs in uh, uh, commando course belgaum is marvelous sir. it is too good sir and because of that what happens everything is so streamlined that you don't feel the heat of the course incidentally yeah. sir people finish the course in 33 days hamare course mein ek champion the ota ke sword of honor wo if you remember sir there is one exercise is called uh-huh. jal jal vikas which is the day uh-huh. exercise where where your instructor joins you mm-hmm. and the instructor took us took us took us and uh, us din wo ek murgi hamare haath mein pakda di mari bhi to humne usko khaya bhi nahi and then wo mm-hmm. we had to stay hungry also and my brother uh-huh. said ki okay my brother said ki okay you finish this and tomorrow morning we will have beer in the house my brother was the instructor there aur mere dimag mein beer chal rahi thi और शाम को पांच बज गए आई थिंक वी डिड नॉट फॉलो द सेम रूट एंड इंस्ट्रक्टर ने बोला गाइस इट माय मिस्टेक आई वाज डूइंग द नेविगेशन यू गाइस स्लीप फॉर फाइव मिनट्स और हम पांच मिनट सोए और फिर उठे और फिर हमने दोबारा चलना शुरू किया तो एक बंदा गायब हो गया एंड दैट गायब यू नो ही वेंट टू समर प्लेस एंड जस्ट स्लेप देर एंड राइफल वो गायब हो गया उसके बाद हमने इवेंट यू टू क्रॉस अ रिवर एंड डू एस्केप एन इवेशन so mm-hmm. we went there we started counting and one guy is missing so they said ki okay naval commandos there are two of us me and ek man guy called octa now he's a commodore just retired and another tough guy from rimc and so and he did the entire commando course belgaum with a broken with a sprained uh, knee sir boy and he stood first in or he stood uh, first in uh, 30 knot speed march uh, mm. second or third in 40 40 knot speed march and sixth in uh, 20 crore speed march with that sprain oh. knee sir imagine that kind of guy of course he was a clean driver also like me and uh, mm-hmm. so hum dono ko bheja aur humne bola sir jungle mein jayenge waise bhi hame zyada navigation pata nahi hai and you know belgaon jungles are thick <laughs> so uh-huh. we went towards the dega wapas aage and then uh, uh, they said you start diving i said there's no diving set we have we don't have a diving set how will you dive with the, with the river anyway dobara uh, uh, head count ke to one guy was missing then story was that they made us do the escape in evasion they made us do the escape in evasion and after escape in evasion fresh at 4 in the morning then the whole day you are relaxing uh-huh. and next day evening is a speed march 40 km mm-hmm. that next day morning uh, that, that next day lunch was an invitation by my elder brother to his house beer and chicken and all ha uh-huh. ab hum aa pahunche unhone hame seedhe bola ki theek hai you go back now and 8 o'clock in the morning they sent a bus come back to the jungle to search for this guy acha ek banda nahi mila ye banda nahi mila so we searched for this guy and incidentally sir we didn't get food we didn't get food so next day morning and as a punishment so next day morning we were searching for him searching for yani ki sir escape revision hua that finished at 4 o'clock and we went to the, the barracks just about 2 hours and before we were having chai they took us back to you know how army is they took us back there and told us ki now start marching and look for that guy we looked the entire till about evening we looked nothing happened then we came back and we must have come back at like let's say 5 o'clock in the evening and 6:30 was the 40 knot speed march boy god to humne kiya sir i also gave an excellent we did that speed march and we finished mm-hmm. the speed march next day morning people are relaxing ki course khatam ho gaya humko bola okay back to the same jungle <laughs> oh abhi tak nahi mila wo nahi what happened sir this guy when <laughs> he he slept for 5 minute but actually wo commando course mein thakan itni zyada hoti hai ki wo thus ho gaya raat ko utha So then they, they do a blast and all if you remember that jal vikas mein they do ah, blast oh utha sir wo and wo charo ko dekha thak jungle she could not find his way to ye ped ke upar ja ke so gaya like like a leopard rifle se niche rakh di and next day morning he got down poor chap he was hungry and you know he was totally now akela hai jungle mein he started looking around from here and there to usko ek uh, uh, bell uh, ek bell nazar aaya uski ghanti baji to he went towards the bell to wahan pe ek kisan tha wo kisan ne usko dekha and you know uh, uh, we are all ganje we are all bald to tomato ki bahut khatarnak lagte hain khatarnak lagte hain tomato ha and belgaon wale hamare aise logon ki bahut izzat karte hain so they took him to the village village mein kisi ki shaadi thi to is bhai sahab ko dulha bana diya in the, in the sense ki usko dulhe ki tarah treat kiya khana peena diya uska shakal dekhi wo uske gaal andar ho rakhe hain bilkul chuse waam ki tarah to usko fir laddu waddu khilaya usko aur wo to hatta gadda ban gaya and then they dropped him to the uh, goa goa bombay highway and this mm. gentleman started walking towards goa 
meanwhile we had uh, the uh, chief instructor uh, general uh, uh, no no uh, he was uh, the he was lieutenant colonel and uh, so he he was going in his jeep and he found one commando walking on the other side so he got him back <laughs> and that's how he was recovered so say when he was recovered he was rtu'd he was rtu'd but he had to join us so our commando was stretched for about 36 days <laughs> otherwise it's 33 days so we had a, a high impact commando course i would say so that was that sort of you know and commando course was the was a must for us to become marine commando acha okay. marine commando yes sir marine commando course started in bombay sir it was a long 14 months course and that's a mother of all courses because day one say it is competition it is just sailors and officers and uh, mm-hmm. it's rigorous in the sense that you could say Which that kaun se saal aap kaun se saal aap marcos ka bane marine commando kis saal bane aap so i got commission 86 88 i became class driving officer 91 i became marine commander sir this three years because uh, our people uh, navy did not have any marine commando facility to train mm-hmm. so what uh-huh. we should do is that the special group, group uh, is in one uh, location it's still hashash we used to go train there for about 3 months come back then do the fvs uh, training operation training in uh, bombay sir now somehow it happened they didn't give us uh, the uh, vacancy for 2 years so we got delayed mm-hmm. so i did my mm-hmm. commando marine commando when i was 27 and a half so which is not a right age for doing this course because first yeah. you have to come you have to top the course you have to do i top the cdo course i also top the marine commando course and uh, but uh, it it's slightly uh, more it becomes more challenging if you are uh, if you are that age so if you are 23 24 probably it becomes much easier but that age to mar le to mar bhi kar doge vijay तुमको देख के तुम्हारे लिए एज का यू आप तुम एज की बात मत करो योर योर मतलब मुझे आई कैन मैं हैरान हूं कि यू कम फर्स्ट इन डाइविंग कोर्स फर्स्ट इन मरीन कमांडो कोर्स अमेजिंग एंड वन मोर फर्स्ट इन इंडोनेशिया हाई कमांड कोर्स आई स्टूड फर्स्ट ओ ग्रेट अच्छा उसके बाद में आएंगे अभी आई वांट यू टू गो बैक टू एनडीए एंड एसएसबी कि थोड़ा सा जस्ट टेल अस अबाउट योर एसएसबी एक्सपीरियंस एंड योर एनडीए एक्सपीरियंस कैसा रहा कि कैसा लगा आपको वहीं पे छोटे से बच्चे घूमते थे यस एक्चुअली व्हेन आई पास माय यूपीएससी एग्जाम सो फादर गॉट बिहाइंड मी ही सेड लुक यू हैव टू नाउ स्टार्ट प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर एसएसबी एंड आई आई रियलाइज्ड दैट एसएसबी Uh, have good confidence and you know communication ability speaking abilities and also since my father insisted on all those things to school mein aksar first second aaya karte the i was a class, a class monitor from class first to class 10th 11th i was house captain 12th i was school captain and uh, 12th my stood second overall in my school the guy who stood first went joined iit chennai then i am and i stood second i joined nda so uh, my my entire uh, my entire preparation started you know from the school day itself so i give full credit to my teachers and of course my father and my 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 elder brother was a source of inspiration because he had done very well and wo thoda sa ding bhi marte the ki maine itna acha assist bhi kiya hai wo jo ki swabhavik hai so i was uh, certain that i will be able to clear it but my father somebody somehow made me realize in many times that you know look you will not pass because you can't speak in front of me abhi apne father ke samne and that was strict father it is exactly hamari to saans nahi saans hi nikalti thi father ke aage और मेरे फादर थोड़े गर्म मिजाज के भी थे और आई वाज दी सो ऑल दिस यू नो समटाइम्स टू बिकम दैट बॉक्सिंग का वो था ना सबके फादर ऐसे थे उस टाइम ये जितने उस्ताद थे अब मैं समझ गया हूं yes, जो इस टाइम के उस्ताद थे एनडीए आई में सबके फादर एक जैसे मेरे फादर भी हमारी हिम्मत नहीं थी सांस भी निकाल ले उनके आगे कहां से कॉन्फिडेंस ऑलवेज एंग्री है ना एंग्री अ एक्चुअली मे बी ही वाज ट्राइंग टू दैट दैट वाज हिज वे ऑफ मोटिवेटिंग because he was somehow maybe certain that he, he, this guy is going to clear because you know uh, i used to come I, as i told him my academic uh, academic qualification was good and generally so there was not a problem so when i went for the ssb so i realized that uh, within a uh, that uh, iq test and all this uh, psychological test i did very well mm-hmm. uh, and uske baad the uh, gto test mein i realized ki within 10 15 minutes everybody was agreeing to my plan only and they were trying to make me the leader for every group activity and then when it came to lecture competition though generally i was good because i used to uh, take part in declaration yeah. uh, in uh, declaration competition in school and you know extempore so i did not have any problem uh, what actually started me was uh, in the conference uh, in this conference so there was a colonel gelot and i remember he used to he used to smoking triple five cigarette and when i entered he told me you know what have you done in this last four days you know you have done something different 
सो आई वॉज स्टंट आई थॉट प्रॉब्लली यू नो कहीं ऐसा ना कि हम फेल हो रहे हैं यू नो फिर बेस्ती हो जाएगी घर में बेस्ती हो जाएगी एंड उसके बाद फिर यू वॉन्ट टू बिकम एन ऑफिसर सो ऑल दिस थिंग्स so then he's uh, he took my interview for about 25 30 minutes and then he said uh, you know when you go out of this room you will realize what have you done so then i did not realize it i went and uh, then i uh, in my batch of 30 only four qualified so i was chest number 20 so i qualified mm-hmm. and then we joined mm-hmm. nda when i saw the order of merit uh, there was something called as press information bureau samay to kuch internet hota nahi tha so we went uh-huh. to pib and oh niche the maine wo they had uh, uh, published a merit list of 330 credits and uh, so many mm-hmm. niche dekhna shuru kiya so i came to 300 i came to 200 i came to 150 i came to 100 then i thought to lagta hai naam hai ya nahi hai naam hai nahi then i came to 50 then i was about to turn back so mera friend tha mere sath ek he also qualified so i told him yeah just go let's see the entire list then i started seeing from first and i came to 21 my name was 21 so i qualified and uh, but you know i had some medical problem Uh, so I was temporarily unfit for you know hyperhidrosis palms and soles. उसका मेरे फादर ने बड़ा अच्छा तरीका निकाला P D I type तरीका निकाला बोला कि ले एलम लो और रगड़ते रहो हाथ को but then uh, I I appealed in the medical board and sir you'll be surprised to know how coincidence it is my elder brother had heart murmur. Mm, so yeah. fortunately my father was an instructor in N D and uh, late Admiral Awati was the commandant so my father had served with him early in the navy also. so my father approached him because uh, ctc pune mein they were saying that uh, there is a catheter test uh, now mm-hmm. is called angiography us samay usko uh-huh. catheter, catheter bolte the it was uh-huh. unit reduced in india it was risky high risk uh-huh. so uska appointment was 6 months later so my brother had to appeal within one month so my uh-huh. father approached uh, a late admiral lavati and admiral lavati uh, called up uh, ctc pune and they uh-huh. arranged for my elder brother's test so now imagine uh, it's a test which is very risky in nature so my father had to sign so my father signed uh, for this uh, undergoing this test and my father had a simple logic <laughs> agar bete mein problem hai to mar jayega aur agar nahi hai to waise hi mar jayega because kya hai ki he got a heart problem <laughs> simple logic <laughs> bada simple logic <laughs> anyway my brother was uh, my brother was quite he is very uh, mentally very strong so he had no issues they did the catheter and they cleared him so he joined like that i had a medical problem so again my father had to intervene and then I, i got through uh, i got through in fact how i got through is because uh, when i appealed for the medical board there was a bengali uh, surgeon captain and his daughter was in class 9th in school and you know and he has seen me playing football and all and in all school uh, school uh, uh, school uh, activities i used to be the school captain with a mic in hand so he told mm-hmm. me hey you are the same chap mega yes sir okay there no, no problem you are pass and he signed <laughs> and of course he took some tests and all and i was cleared younger brother had the same problem heart murmur oh bhai again god. city pune my father retired by that time but my father came back from the village to join him in uh, pune and did his uh, cleared his ctc test so Why my yeah. father's head was everywhere to so, tino mein koi na koi hurdle thi but pahunch gaye tino yes, brother sir. nda mein bhai ye kamal yes, ki baat hai adopted your father uh, three brothers <laughs> all three from nda and all three yes. outstanding simply outstanding this is acha nda Thank ki thodi baat batao vijay एनडीए का तुम्हारा तीन साल का टेन्यूर कैसा रहा मजे आए क्या रहा पनिशमेंट मिली अपॉइंटमेंट हुआ क्या रहा एनडीए को कैसे देखते हो आप आज के दिन सर वेरी फ्रैंकली आई वाज अ गुड स्टूडेंट सो माय डिजायर वाज टू बिकम अ डॉक्टर एंड आई आल्सो क्लियर माय मेडिकल एग्जाम बट आई हैड फेल्ड इन माय एनडीए एग्जाम सो दैट ईगो एस वाज देयर कि भैया पहले एनडीए पास करना है नाउ व्हेन आई क्वालीफाइड एनडीए देन व्हेन आई जॉइन एनडीए फर्स्ट टाइम इन घोरपुड़ी उस समय घोरपुड़ी में हुआ करता था फर्स्ट टर्म से हां हां बिल्कुल देन आई गॉट अ कॉल फॉर द इंटरव्यू So my father said, "Look, yeah, is, is, my father used to always take simple decisions. His logic was very simple: either this mm. or that." So he told me, "You want to become a doctor, but you also want to join the navy. That means you want to become a naval doctor. Ah. Now you have SS, you, you have cleared NDA. If you continue NDA for three years, you will become an officer. You will join the navy. यहाँ पे आप डॉक्टर बनोगे. उसके बाद क्या पता अभी आपका पहले इंटरव्यू में अगर आप पास हुए ना हो, कुछ कुछ वो नहीं है. But to mm. go there, you have to leave NDA. So you know, one bird in hand is better than two in the bush." so then mm. that logic was given to me so i continued in india so uh, tech, uh, actually from the heart of hearts i wanted to become a doctor but once i joined nda then i realized ki physically i was quite robust and there was no problem fir mere bade bhai ne bhi kuch bataya nahi tha india ke bare mein mm. see because people from senior school middle school uh, it is a easy transition for them to join nda yeah hamari pehli extension of the school it is extension of the school hamari pehli dikkat ye hoti ki subah 5:30 baje utho yeah. फिर सीनियर्स का सीनियर्स की पनिशमेंट फिर पीपल गिव लॉट ऑफ गालीज एंड ऑल दोज थिंग्स सीनियर्स यू नो दे मेक यू वर्क लाइक यू नो डू दिस डू दैट 
then there is no girls in the class you know covid mein to karo taraf ladki ladki hote hain tum kevi kehte you are fond of girls in the class and no no sir incidentally my sister was my classmate so acha okay ha so that also there so there is a lot of give and take and lot of support system and dim gustani plus you know there is another problem you know senior school school type military school school type ye school type name type pals aur hamara koi pal nahi tha so i used to i used to detach this thing so then again the feeling of competition was so generally my india time was good i was in india's cordon and india's cordon mein there was a akal of medals so i got them athletics medals i got them uh, boxing medals i was an academy football team i was an academy hockey team and so right. i was a uh, so i was a uh, i was like a you know precious object of the of the of the of cordon. the cordon india's cordon yes sir now what is to happen we should have that uh, you know course punishments which are aware sir i don't want to go in details Mm-hmm. So my course people used to say, "Yeah, too much I got." Because when they used to rolling like you roll from this place to that place, I used to roll very fast and finish it off. Mm-hmm. Or the leopard crawl, I used to finish. By time my uh, my course man was halfway through, I would have finished the other side. So उसके चक्कर में उनको ज़्यादा punishment मिलती थी. So they should they should tell, "Yeah, too much I got. Yeah, too much I got." So that was it. NDA was of course you are aware, sir. It is a very tough routine. I Means so right from the morning till the night, you are generally jam packed routine. Hmm. Uh, and i was uh, since i was good in uh, sports and also i had to do play extra to play extra games ha like wo yes, training sir. bhi karni hai matches bhi khelne hai chot bhi lagni hai hai yes, na yes sir but uh, unfortunately my academic performance was very bad i could not perform because i could not you know that 6:30 wo sawdan bad mein padhai karo 2 ghante the uske baad mess jao fir war rolling karke wapas aao and lights out and for people from senior school middle school this may be uh, easy but for me i had to study at night till 2 o'clock in the morning if i had to do well in exams wo wo samay kabhi mila nahi so i just mm-hmm. barely managed to pass with four cgpa in nda <laughs> so but uh, i was uh, selected as bca of third battalion but my squadron okay. commander said yaar if you become bca and you are a naval cadet and there is so much of study for naval cadet to fail ho jayega because fourth term i got a gci in physics uh-huh. so that's why my father uh, that's why i thought keeper is better that you know so i i passed out as dcs uh, but then i was the uh, reserve cane only when queen when uh, the queen came to india Okay. Uh, to NDA in 1984, uh, 84. I was in fourth mm-hmm. term, so I was the second reserve uh, for the K Nordly. So I was good in drill. Uh, uh-huh. PT, I used to give demo to my entire course. Uh, I was okay. very good in PT. So those things I used to do. Generally, uh, uh, NDA tenure was fine. It is, uh, it is something which you don't want to repeat again. Once is once is enough. <laughs> yes, sir. It is interesting. And uh-huh. I am maybe the only chap who did not get a single punishment, no single ET, no single ED in my entire three years tenure, sir. So this yes, also shows that you are a sportsman. Be you are good in everything, and you are a good student also. मतलब कोई पंगा नहीं किया कोई मतलब you never took any chance. कभी पंगा नहीं लिया सर और कभी बाय चांस अगर पंगा हो भी गया तो इंस्ट्रक्टर्स लुक एट मी ड्रिल्स बता रहे हैं यार ये तो बहुत बहुत हार्ड ड्रिल करता है पूरा पसीने से भर जाता है इसकी पनिशमेंट माफ. So I never got punished. and only of course we had lot of lal makan runs we had lot of the singer runs as course punishment ek hmm. ek ek bar ek kamanan ki ladki ko usne whistle kar diya tha to 7 din tak hamari patti parade hui from par khetrapal parade ground and then we also had lal makans and all those things we had so that was part of fun but otherwise so, individually uh, individual uh, ha individually koi punishment nahi mili but jahan group punishment city kisi aur ne mare maar diya lekin punishment sabko mili <laughs> yes sir yes sir <laughs> तो ये बताओ ये बच्चे बहुत पूछते हैं इंडिया एक बॉल के बारे में डैशिंग गाई लाइक यू डिड यू हैव अ गर्लफ्रेंड इन पुणे एट दैट टाइम बट डिड यू मैनेज टू हैव अ गर्लफ्रेंड सर 3 साल में मैं पांच बार बाहर गया होऊंगा सर आई नेवर वेंट आउट नेवर सर नेवर एंड वो पांच बार में तीन बार तो मेरा ब्रदर वाज डूइंग पीटी कोर्स इन एएसपीटी पुणे सो ही आई यूज्ड टू मीट हिम इन डेक्कन जिमखाना वी यूज्ड टू हैव लंच हैव देन वॉच टू मूवीज एंड ही यूज्ड टू गो बैक फ्रॉम देयर एज कम बैक टू इंडिया ये हमारा रूटीन था अच्छा तो नेवर हैड एनी नीड नेवर हैड एनी नीड टू गो बिकॉज़ एक तो क्या है कि वो फिजिकली इट वाज डिमांडिंग सो अपने आराम से सैटरडे को खाना खाया संडे को रात को उठते थे उसके बाद संडे को सुबह ब्रेकफास्ट के बाद या लंच के बाद या रात को डिनर में उठे या समटाइम्स सैटरडे को आई हैव डिनर एंड मंडे मॉर्निंग गेट अप फॉर पीटी सो दैट वाज रूटीन सो यस एंड मोर ओवर सो मच इतना सो सकते थे सर वी कुड यस एंड मोर ओवर आई डिड नॉट हैव एनी दैट यू नो जो आप जैसे आपके जैसे सेरी स्कूल मिडिल स्कूल वाले हैं दे वांट टू यू नो बी फ्रेंड गर्ल्स एंड आई हैड नो इंटरेस्ट लाइक दिस बिकॉज़ स्कूल में काफी था स्कूल में वी हैड लॉट ऑफ दिस इन इंटरेस्टिंग कंपनीज एंड ऑल एंड अनफॉर्चूनेटली हमारे टाइम पे एनडीए बॉल नहीं हुआ करता था सर वी डिडंट हैव एनडीए हां ये बात वही ना ये सब आईएमए बॉल भी बाद में शुरू हुआ है पहले नहीं था ये सब दिस वाज नॉट पार्ट ऑफ द कल्चर 
है ना ये सर नॉट एंकरेज और शायद उस टाइम सोसाइटी में भी नहीं था इसकी आई थिंक देयर वाज नो चांस फॉर दिस काइंड ऑफ थिंग है ना और सर उससे पहले हुआ करता था हमसे व्हेन वी जॉन एंडी उससे पहले हुआ करता था लाइक माय एल्डर ब्रदर वाज देयर इन 58 कोर्स दैट टाइम इट वाज देयर एंड देन लेटर ऑन व्हेन माय यंगर ब्रदर जॉइंड इट वाज अगेन देयर अच्छा हमारे हमारे बीच में सर अनफॉर्चूनेट नहीं था हां वो हमारे हमारे बैचेस ने ना बहुत मार खाई पहले तो सेकंड लेफ्टिनेंट रैंक रहा हमारा हमें कोई अलाउंस नहीं मिलता था फिर हमारे जाने के बाद सेकंड लेफ्टिनेंट रैंक चला गया लेफ्टिनेंट बन गए फिर दे स्टार्टेड गेटिंग अलाउंस हम तो घर से पैसे लेते थे एकेडमी में अभी तो यू गेट गुड अलाउंस अभी तो ऑफिसर की पे मिलनी शुरू हो जाती है एकेडमी में तो ट्रू सर ट्रू तो हमारे टाइम कुछ नहीं था सारी ऑल द बैड थिंग्स हैपेंड विद अस हमारी सीनियोरिटी में जो लोग थे एंड सर आई वाज फॉलोइंग यू सिंस आई एम ओनली वन ईयर यू नो माय कमीशन रेट इज वन ईयर आफ्टर यू सो वी टुगेदर हां तो कोई खास अच्छा ये मुझे बहुत अच्छा लगा कि आप मरीन कमांडो होते हुए नहीं लोग सोचते हैं जो फिजिकली फिट है फौज में हमारी ये धारणा बनी हुई है जो फिजिकली फिट है वो अपर स्टोरी खाली होती है वो स्टाफ कॉलेज वगैरह पास नहीं करते फिर वो वेस्ट आउट हो जाते हैं बट मैंने मैंने भी किया स्टाफ कॉलेज आपने भी किया स्टाफ कॉलेज आपने कौन सा वाला किया दैट इज अ रियली गुड अचीवमेंट टू डू स्टाफ कॉलेज फिर हायर कमांड इंडोनेशिया में किया यस आई डिड फिफ्टी सिक्स स्टाफ कॉलेज फिफ्टी सिक्स आपने सर फिफ्टी सेकंड फिफ्टी थर्ड किया होगा मैंने फिफ्टी सेकंड किया हाँ I did 56 because क्या होता है हमारा सर what happened I passed my staff college in 1995 अच्छा हो same but, time as us uh, मैंने भी 95 yes, में पास किया uh-huh. yes sir but then uh, उसके बाद navy में ये rule है कि you have to first do command officer okay. you have to do a seat anyone as a lieutenant commander as a major lieutenant mm-hmm. commander and mm-hmm. then the three years of ACR is seen oh. उसके बाद जो selection is based on the ACR not on your writing the exam and passing it Uh-huh. So then, uh, then uh, 2000 I I joined uh, uh, staff college and then 2001 uh, we passed out sir. हाँ so, navy के navy के senior होते थे but ना बाद yes, में जाके उल्टा हो जाता है जब हम गए वहाँ पढ़ाने के लिए उस्ताद बन के ds बन के navy वाले youngster थे हम बहुत senior थे. Correct sir correct sir navy वाले the moment you are commander because now of course they are sending captains but those days they used to send commanders whereas army के all colonel high command qualified people used to come. Hmm. Navy didn't consider it to be uh, a career uh, kind of uh, profile. Yes, if you're a DS in uh, high command post, like I was a DS after doing my high command post abroad, I came into the Naval War College. I was the only DS for Naval High Command Post, so that is a career profile. And generally, all those people who have been DS in War College, like I was, they have retired as three stars. Hum thode se because of being a uh, Marine Commando and all, so <laughs> shy or maybe. मेरा दिमाग घुटने में आपका दिमाग घुटने में मेरा दिमाग फिर भी आपके दिमाग से ऊपर है और सर एक और सुनिए सर Uh, uh, almost eighty percent of marine commandos are jats uh, from Haryana, but jats is a state of mind. Or not? They are also considered jats. Huh? That because jats is a state of mind, or jats stands for jovial, active, and tough. <laughs> oh, jovial, active, and tough. Yes, sir. And that yeah, is I true, got... sir. Because all those boys, uh, like Haryana boys and uh, UP jats and all, and we have. They are very decent and वो they crack jokes you know ऐसे jokes crack करते हैं बड़ी पतली आवाज में बड़ा मजा आता है उनको नहीं हरियाणा में क्या है ना wit wit ना wit is yes, part sir. of our culture and folklore so हरियाणा yes, के लोग बड़ी आपको हर sentence में there will be a wit and sarcasm and they can sir. crack <laughs> jokes uh, yes uh, yes, so, yes. Uh, but कहाँ है ये बात सही है कि they feel कि ये जात लोग हैं तो ये rough and tough हैं यही एस एफ में जाएंगे यही मरीन कमांडो बनेंगे तो इनको यहीं तक रहने दो बस <laughs> बहुत मजा आया विजय ये बात सुन के अब मुझे जो थोड़ा सा अपना बताना ये इंडोनेशिया आप गए और आपकी उसको छोड़ दो नेवल आपकी जो शिप की कमांड थी कौन सी शिप कमांड की और थोड़ा सा इंटरेस्टिंग उसके बारे में सर एक्चुअली आई कमांडेड आई एन गुलदार विच इज लैंडिंग शिप टैंक डूरिंग सोनामी सर so yeah. that time a uh, 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 lot of relief activities had to take place and and you know because of tsunami a lot of devastation had taken place you know you i've been to some islands where you could see the pictures like you see in national geographic cars hanging yeah. on top of the trees and all this kind of stuff sir the sea the sea line had actually gone into seashore had gone 2 kilometers inside 
undulating lands and all somewhere where the uh, the uh, the water has risen somewhere it has gone down so navigation was a big challenge and uh, fortunately sir my ship uh, i was able to navigate to all difficult navigation areas sometimes my my boss would tell me ya tu jyada pange le raha hai you might just get you uh, know uh, you might just uh, ground your ship and you might get court martial but i was very clear that you know if uh, i had a very good team and uh, i should take uh, suggestions and you know views of all my uh, shipmates officers as well as Uh, senior sailors like mast chiefs and all them jcos and then i have to uh, do the navigation and navigation and whatever things so that then was very interesting because uh, that ship uh, landing ship tank is not easy because normally ships stay away from coast this ship actually mm-hmm. goes, goes this, in beaches i know this has yes. uh, this is to a yeah, ship ko uh, coast ke paas jana because is ye ship use hoti amphibious operations which is where correct sir correct sir infantry I, tank bmp ko yes sir and if you ah. know sir general aditya singh from uh, ah, I... pune horse i think he was uh, the army commander ah. yes sir and you know how before that he was uh, a commander in chief andaman nicobar islands and he was a terror in the sense that he was very strict and people uh, no nonsense type and he was always you know forcing people to work i became his blue heart boy can you imagine he used to call me by my first name up because i did one or two operations where i entered a beach uh, i entered a you know uh, almost uh, damaged the harbor and uh, delivered uh, the items and also a dozer and all that was the first time a dozer entered actually was landed uh, by a ship and uh, so it became a big uh, news and then general aditya singh uh, became uh, like uh, I, every time in every meeting you say ha ah, when vijay ship is there he can do this he can do that and so i guess that is the, that is that's the report which sent me to indonesia i would say <laughs> very good it was very really interesting sir uh, there was a snake in my ship uh, mm. which again is uh, uh, news because you you know about the rats in the ship but there there was a big snake in my ship <laughs> oh S- snake is on your ship man sir wo uh, gangway se upar aaya and i saw the ship the snake he just came inside and then uh, took a chakkar of the uh, foxel and then jumped into the water oh i was in vishakhapatnam doing my refit sir uh, there are a oh. lot of stories about uh, uh, this uh, command of my ship uh, because i i was uh, my ship was perhaps the best ship in port blair we did all the operations in time Uh, mm-hmm. I can write a book on this ship, sir. Uh, <laughs> the command of ship because perhaps one of the most interesting, uh, you know, tenure of my professional career in the navy, sir. The next ship I commanded ship, was right? yes, mm-hmm. sir. The next ship I commanded was few days later. That was INS Gomti, which is a guided missile frigate. Now that okay. ship uh, again, we had uh, four missiles which could uh, uh, strike at 120 kilometers, and we had two helicopters. I should run one seeking seeking something like MI 17. Mm-hmm, I That's right. Yes, sir. and then other one was the Alu at Chetak, and I used to fly that also. And plus, it is a big ship, 125 meters in length. And navigation was a little problem with it because because of these uh, extra sail area and all because of the you uh, know because of the uh, hello deck and then the hello hangers. Mm-hmm. But again, I had a very good uh, lot and of uh, the officers and sailors on board, and I I was able to motivate them. So there are 11 uh, or 12 fleet trophies, and Western Fleet is the sword arm of the Indian Navy. Uh, yeah, and the the best ships are on the Western Seaboard, and mine was one of the oldest ship. And there are twelve fleet trophies, out of which uh, in eight uh, fleet uh, trophies I was uh, in the first three. Mm. Uh, they, at the end of one year, they give that fleet uh, trophy. So mm-hmm. in eight, I was in first three, first three, and I got uh, four awards. And the fifth award was the most spirited ship. Now, most spirited ship is supposed supposed to be a, a very great award because it talks about the leadership qualities and it talks about. the kind of josh people have got on board the ship meeting all the commitment time i sailed the maximum amongst all the fleet ships i fired two missiles i fired one missile i fired six torpedoes five torpedoes and i had the maximum uh, you know uh, flying operation done and there was not a single uh, discipline case in my ship i used to motivate them and uh, three three sailors became officers from my ship uh, two Great. joined uh, crpf and one became a cw officer something like uh, SL commission, uh, not SL, but some other. Uh, RCO, those, uh, like RCO, hmm. something like RCO, like that. So uh, that is a kind of uh, thing. Uh, this is incredible, Vijay. You know. I I can realize that. You don't go to the army. 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 <laughs> I like this. Keep planning. आपके 62 तक कैसे? 62 की थी सर. But हाँ. 
और आपके यहाँ तो वो भी नहीं है दे डोंट इवन गिव यू एक्सटेंशन और री एम्प्लॉयमेंट हमारे यहाँ तो दे देते हैं ब्रिगेडियर no, दो साल के लिए दे डोंट गिव सर दे डोंट गिव सर So actually, I would. I was principal director of special operations diving for almost eight years, so from 2012 to 2020, and mm. uh, I seen uh, three chief of naval staffs, and uh, it is because of their uh, blessings only I continued for eight years, and that was again uh, one of the. I would say there are four four tenures uh, of my professional career which are uh, my highlight. One was this command of uh, uh, the INS Guldar during tsunami time. It was uh, it was high risk operation, uh, not from the point of view of my high risk. But it was a professional risk I was taking. Mm. Uh, then second was uh, soon after that I commanded uh, Marine Commander Unit East Eastern Seaboard. And okay. Marine Commander Unit so daily there is a risk factor because क्या होता है कोई helicopter जम्मा रहा है कोई ये कर रहा है कोई sky diving कर रहा है कोई and we do uh, para jump in water. We do mm. lot of and underwater diving और रात को diving कर रहे हैं then commando activity कर रहे हैं तो उसमें क्या होता है कि अन हमारे बंदे गंग हो they are very गंग हो Marine Commanders yeah. are uh, very very highly motivated they are गंग हो people <laughs> तो उनको control करना बड़ा मुश्किल होता है. and uh, so the chances of people making mistakes and you know uh, putting their uh, doing high risk jobs so as a as a uh, as a ceo you always feel ki kahi aisa na ho kuch problem na ho jaye kisi ko all those things so that was one tenure mm-hmm. then i was gomti and then uske baad the 8 years when i was principal director because a lot of things happened in 8 years in terms of policies in terms of uh, training in terms of induction training and all those things and procurements Uh, in fact today i i can proudly say that uh, the kind of procurement we've done in, for diving as well as for special operations mm-hmm. were at par if not less with all the international uh, all all the uh, top uh, few countries in the world including the us that is kind of procurement ye main i'll watch for this jo bhi mujhe time mila na navy ke sath ghumne ka navy mein jaane ka fir staff college mein fir higher command course mein fir you know जो कैप में और बिल्ड परस्पेक्टिव प्लानिंग से मैं कई बार नेवी के साथ नेवल ऑपरेशंस के साथ जुड़ा मैं हमेशा एक चीज बताता हूँ कि तीनों फोर्सेस में से प्रोफेशनली नंबर वन इन ऑल एस्पेक्ट्स इज द इंडियन नेवी इंडियन नेवी को मैं हमेशा सल्यूट करता हूँ आपके स्टेशंस देखो आपकी लाइन्स देखो आपकी ट्रेनिंग स्टैब्लिशमेंट देखो आपकी हर चीज और आपके यहाँ जवान फालतू नहीं है काम करने के लिए जैसे हम तो जवानों को लगा रहे थे आपके यहाँ हर एक का अपना काम है और हर yes. बंदा मैं, मैंने मोटिवेटेड देखा है और एक और चीज मैंने विजय देखी है नेवी में मैंने ओबीज लोग नहीं देखे नेवी में और ये पता नहीं चलता कि ये ये सुपरसीडेड है या ये अभी भी चल रहा है दे ऑल आर वर्किंग विद सेम पैशन ये तो नेवी का है ना दैट्स ट्रू some of the culture is such sir and moreover navy is a very progressive service you know you keep on exercising on in in a in a one financial year we exercise with the russian navy french navy uh, british navy american navy japanese navy uh, these five navies are then plus sri lankan navy then mm-hmm. south asian countries navies we exercise with all those people so we have so much of interaction with this uh, foreign uh, countries and then we have officers uh, going you know abroad for training uh, i mean as I, as i'm talking maybe more than 200 officers uh, would be outside either as da's or doing some kind of training and all something yeah yeah so in a small mm-hmm. service and uh, navy being a small service not more than uh, 9000 officers there is a very easy way of give and take and plus you know like as a as a commodore as a one star i could walk up to my chief's office uh, at any point time if i felt that there is something important to be conveyed to him mm-hmm. and uh, twice in a week he comes for the morning briefing Uh, into the war room where where all the principal directors and above are there so there is a you know very easy accessibility to the seniors and decision making is very quick plus uh, there are a lot of independence given to you when you are when you are working on your table uh, it is not that uh, that you know thoda sa bureaucracy thodi si kam ho jati hai uh, it may be uh, i don't know much about the air force and the navy but army but i'm sure that since you said and i also heard from my friends wahan thodi si slightly more Haan, bureaucracy hai ye hai air force ka alag issue hai um because air force mein everything is na is putting that guy in air you know yes sir air force totally centered and rightly so it is putting the aircraft in air and the pilot and for Correct. a safe landing back everybody is working towards that army of course is too big and is ke matlab uh, 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 too really too big very professional of course but we have so many branches departments and ye sab hai itne officers hain है ना जितनी आपकी नेवी की स्ट्रेंथ है उतने हमारे पास ऑफिसर्स हैं कैरियर मैनेजमेंट ये वो एंड ऑल बट नेवी का मैंने ये यू आर राइट है ना यस की बट इमेजिन इमेजिन सर सॉरी सर इमेजिन सर डिस्पाइट बीइंग हैविंग नो सच अ ह्यूज आर्मी द थर्ड लार्जेस्ट इन द वर्ल्ड 
we have been, we are doing so well sir in fact uh, army is so professional yeah. my interaction with the army says so and uh, no, mere ghar mein to mere ghar mein to everybody is for the my father in law was in gurkhas Uh, and uh, my my, my uh, sister in law is a wing commander in the air force then two or four navy officers hamare ghar mein hai to hamare ghar mein to fauj ke siwa koi baatein nahi hoti hai baatein ha to then uh, sometime what happens meri sister in law jo hai wo she is posted to nda now wo air force ki hai so uh, to wo lady officer bhi hai to uske baad to fir shuru ho jata hai ghar mein और फॉर एयरफोर्स वाले जो है ना अपने आपको एयर वॉरियर समझना शुरू कर देते हैं नर्सिंग ऑफिसर इन इन दर्मी एंड देन माई माई ब्रदर यंगर ब्रदर्स वाइफ वॉज लॉजिस्टिक ऑफिसर इन दी सो लाइक दैट इतने हमारे घर में सारे फौजी हैं सो हमारी सोच भी बिल्कुल ऐसी है <laughs> blinkers in the eyes <laughs> no, no i can imagine and uh, but uh, you have so much of passion uh, so much of go in you and uh, abhi life kaise treat kar rahi hai aapko corporate mein aake uh, kaisa lag raha hai retire hoke sir actually uh, once you i'm you are also aware sir but uh, the day you retire that is the biggest depressing day in your life because hmm. suddenly it's like you know jumping from aircraft inside aircraft there's a lot of rumble of the engines and all those things and the mood you're hmm. exit aircraft it's total hmm. silence Mm-hmm. so it's total silence and then you're just you know trying to land so that you don't uh, do the eighth fall they teach you seven falls mm-hmm. and invariably land up in the eighth fall and hurt yourself mm-hmm. so something like that sir lagta hai ki like i was telling somebody that it appears that you know, somebody has actually pulled the rug out of your feet and then you are mm-hmm. you are a non entity because all your respect and you know all these things you know which you had plus uh, not only a simple thing like going in the morning your driver comes in the morning picks you up in the car and then you leave the cantonment people are saluting you you are exchanging pleasantries in the morning enter the office and there are people waiting for you somebody is giving you a cup of chai you are taking looking at the signals and seeing plan the, for the day then you call your commanders captains and all and start telling them what is to be done and take assessment of what what all has happened then hmm. there are some social gatherings in the evening i know wo wo ek din mein ek din mein jo hai koi aata hai ha and then uh, you know don't know actually what hit you sir you don't know what hit you so एंड हमारे क्या हुआ कि सोनामी भी दिस पॉडी कॉल कोरोना आ गया सर सो वी डिट गेट टाइम टू सेटल डाउन सर आई रिटायर्ड इन नवंबर एंड बाय मार्च इट वाज लॉकडाउन अगेन एंड देन सो इट इज बीन वन ईयर नाउ देन आई गॉट एन इनवाइट फ्रॉम वन ऑफ माय फ्रेंड्स हु रन्स अ स्टार्टअप सर एंड सो आई आई एम एन एडवाइजर देयर फॉर द लास्ट फ्यू मंथ्स एंड डेफिनेटली देयर इज अ लॉट ऑफ चेंज डिफरेंस इन वर्किंग ऑफ द कॉर्पोरेट and startups are more uh, different than corporate itself because their mm-hmm. thing is starting up so there are a lot of things uh, which uh, they do things in a different manner plus they they work uh-huh. for 20 hours plus wo aise kaam karte hain jaise ki koi ant hi nahi hai kaam karne ka sir and then you know you have to pace along with them and all those things so and then there are uh, thode rules and regulation wahan ke alag hote hain sir we have to align i know and I then know. Uh, people are youngsters all average age is 24 25 i am the only 57 year old guy sitting out there so wo thodi cheeze hain but uh, theek hai sir it will it will get i know and of course yeah. uh, i'm also giving lectures here and there i've done uh, 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 train the trainer course from an organization mm-hmm. called uh, indian academy of uh, uh, training training and development chennai based and uh, so okay. it was a six months course weekend uh, course of 8 hours each 8 hours per day so it is 250 hours of face to face it was a very good interesting course it's just a repeat of mean people like people like us don't need that course yeah But actually yeah then you have to have some kind of uh, thing so life coach and all this are done <laughs> and uh, i would have actually uh, gone to that but because of this uh, corona now the training industry also is actually struggling i hope yeah, yeah. that by end of this year something uh, better will come out no no so we that, will uh, we will uh, we will find work for passionate people like you jo leaders and life mein jo bahut itne motivated marine commando kahan milte hain you are a priceless <laughs> guy vijay and uh, i can't tell you what an honor it is to speak to you what an honor sir it is my is my pleasure and honor sir aap to you being very modest in fact aapke achievement jaisi hain and when i was reading a pirate and i realized that uh, the commando good mark you are doing sir at least for uplifting the youngsters and you know driving the sense of responsibility and you know uh, sense of you know patriotism in them this is itself by itself a big achievement which you are doing sir so yeah. from that point of view hats off to you sir <laughs> thank you and i am running a basic officers communication course bocc ek sir. course complete ho chuka hai second course 14 january ko start hai 
दूसरा कोर्स मैं स्टार्ट कर रहा हूँ बेसिक ऑफिसर्स एस्पायरेंट कोर्स बी ओ एस सी जिसमें की आई हैव जी टी ओ आई हैव साइक आई एम गेटिंग दम थ्रू पर्सनैलिटी डेवलपमेंट भी कराऊंगा और जी टी ओ और साइक और आई ओ का असेसमेंट भी कराऊंगा और उसमें लड़कियों के लिए मैंने ओपन किया दस लड़कियों को फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट है बिल्कुल फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट बाकियों को भी बाकियों को मैं बस चिल्लर ले रहा हूँ जस्ट टू मैनेज माई स्टेब्लिशमेंट बिकॉज आई हैव अ टीम पांच बंदों की मेरी टीम है जो एडिटिंग करते हैं जो काम कर रहे हैं बैक एंड में फिर मैंने जीटीओ लिया एक लेडी जीटीओ है मेरे साथ कनिका ठाकुर एट थर्टी में लाइव जाने वाला हूँ बच्चों के साथ तो मैं इतनी चीजें कर रहा हूँ कि मेरे पास वक्त नहीं है बट है सबका सब यंग जनरेशन के लेकिन कैसे हम इनकी जिंदगी कैसे कैसे सुधार सके हम कैसे इनको क्या कर सके इनके लिए बस मेरा यही यही मुद्दा है that is the best way of actually you know uh, devoting your uh, 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 life sir because this this is so good when i'm hearing this i'm, I'm getting ideas nahi <laughs> <laughs> nahi no, no, idea kya hai we will work as a team yes sir hai na ha ah, definitely yes, um, yes sir uh, you have been on my show i consider we are contemporaries hai na and yes, kitne ecosystem share karte hain passion share karte hain जीन्स शेयर करते हैं जैसे ऑलमोस्ट है ना पेरेंट्स हैव गॉन थ्रू द सेम रट है ना तो सो नाउ दैट लेट नाउ नाउ दैट यू नाउ दैट यू मेंशन दिस एक्चुअली आई एम आल्सो इन्वॉल्व्ड विद एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन कॉल्ड आई एम पॉसिबल इट इज वन ऑफ माय फ्रेंड्स हर नेम इज नेहा गुप्ता शी इज गॉट दैट शी इज द फाउंडर ऑफ दैट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड बेसिकली शी इज अ साइकोलॉजिस्ट इन फैक्ट शी इज अ काउंसलर एंड आई एम पार्ट ऑफ हर टीम एंड सो व्हेनेवर देयर इज अ रिक्वायरमेंट आई आल्सो गिव सम लेक्चर्स so this is just for information mm-hmm. in case uh, if there is if you feel that there is yeah, any yeah, yeah. requirement of this aspect also maybe i'll ask her to Definitely. get in touch with you so then probably you could work out something with her yep. because i am now employed Definitely. with my company so my company policy may not allow me but she's got a uh, no other instructor marine also. commando ke liye marine commando ke liye aur uh, commando ke liye koi policy nahi hoti policies go out of the window <laughs> <laughs> i was very og sir main main pura anti sop raha hu मैं कैसे फौज में सरवाइव कर गया ऑलिव ग्रीन्स में इतने साल रीज जनरल रैंक बट आई वाज अगेंस्ट दिस जहां मुझे मौका मिलता मैं अपनी मनमर्जी करता था हमेशा <laughs> सर हमने ऐसा नहीं किया सर वी आर बाय द बुक यू आर ओजी आई एम नॉट ओजी ठीक है आई एम पर्पल इन कलर मिक्स ऑफ ब्लू वाइट एंड ग्रीन दैट इज दैट इज सेल्फ कॉन्फिडेंस द अमाउंट ऑफ सेल्फ कॉन्फिडेंस यू गॉट सर चलो किसी और दिन बात करेंगे विजय मोर ऑन दिस एज वी गेट अलॉन्ग बट व्हाट अ प्लेजर थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर कमिंग ऑन माय शो